Oh man, today, today is gonna be phenomenal. Let me turn this volume up. Guys, if I get too excited, don't let me know. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys are having a just, you know, phenomenal. I hope I had a good day yesterday. Um, man, today is, today is the last day of the volume week, right? So tomorrow starts the five week volume month. Oh, let me put my light on. Y'all can, can barely see me. So tomorrow is the last day. I'm sorry. Today is the last day of the volume week. And then tomorrow is day one. Hold on. I'm messing up everything right now. Tomorrow is day one of the five-week volume month. And um, basically, we all have to go all out and do whatever it takes to get people in front of this information and um as we're building guys you know you, you gotta know where you are so you can know where you need to be so the fact that we have so today guys we gotta go all out all out all out all out because we have until 3 a.m eastern standard time um 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then for those of you on the West Coast, obviously it's, it's 12. But we have that amount of time the rest of the day for you to get as many customers and agents uh, that you can to position you so when it's time for the five week volume month, you already ready to go. Um, let me mute everyone's line really quick. Let me dig into this. Can you guys see my screen? Bridget, you can see my screen? Okay, perfect. Yes, sir. We see you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, we see you. Okay, okay, Mama Bear. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let me um, let me minimize this really, really quick, guys. Uh, all right. So, so, we always, I know every Saturday we start this, but I, I want you guys to really look at this and I want you guys to to, to let me know what you see. Like I know what I see <laughs> when, when I see in the, when I look in the mirror, but you know, when, when, when the business is tough or when someone flake on you or someone, you know, tells you that they're going to sign up yesterday, Friday, and they don't, when someone that you're close to say, man, I'm definitely going to do it. And it's been already a month and you call them and you haven't heard anything from them and they and they've, they're gone MIA what do you see you know um, when you see if you if you have this right which is the lotto versus cash right what do you see do you feel you have a better odds of winning the lotto or do you have a better odds of building your business and generating revenue? And a lot of times, you know, people see something greater in someone else. Maybe you may look at someone else and be like, man, man, I can see why they're killing it. Man, man, that's a lion, man. This dude's a shark. You are too, right? You got to see yourself as that SVP. You got to see yourself as that leader because you're going to make a decision based off where you want to be, not where you are. There's a lot of people that enroll into FES and they didn't have the money per se, right? Everybody has the money. Let's just let's just give it to the to, to you guys straight. Everybody has it. But it matters of the value. Do they see value in what we're doing? For them to invest their money i have agents that invested money that they're going to use for uh bills but they saw the vision because they saw themselves as a lion not as a little baby kitten scared and afraid so you got to see yourself as a lion you got to see yourself as someone who's going to get things done because you're going to then start duplicating lions and remember guys it's not the physical form it's a mindset that's all it is you know like we have one of our top leaders uh bridget Britt. she has a mindset of a senior vice president like we know she's gonna be a senior vice. everyone who gets in contact with her knows she's gonna be a senior vice president they know it why because she has a bulletproof mindset 
She's a selfless leader. She humbled herself, right? She doesn't have any ego. Ego stands for edging God out. She doesn't have any of that, right? So, but she already sees herself as a lioness, right? And remember, guys and gals, remember this. When you think about the, um, the, 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 what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the right way to say this? But when you think about the lions and lioness, uh, the lioness, they're all, they're the ones that go hunting. They're the ones that hunt, right? They go get it. We all thinking about the big lion, the big lion, the male lion, he now protects the pride. And we all have to do that with the, amongst each other. But you got to see yourself as a leader. You got to see yourself as a senior vice president. You have to see yourself as a great presenter. You have to see yourself as a great launcher. You have to see yourself as a great customer getter. You have to see yourself as a great leader. That's key. You don't become a leader when the money comes. No, you're a leader before the money comes. You got to focus on yourself. And seeing yourself differently because once you see yourself differently everyone else is gonna see you differently like perfect example when someone that doesn't know me they say how are you doing and those of you who know me I'm gonna say a few different powerful phrases I may say phenomenal now you are doing it right because it's powerful right I may say incredible I was on the phone with a lady the other day that lady said, how are you? I said, I'm doing incredible. That lady was like, whoa. <laughs> she said, I, I never heard anybody say they feeling incredible. In the morning, on a Monday, you feeling incredible, right? Yes. It's a mindset. She's going to her job, but I'm feeling incredible on a Monday morning. So guys, remember, it's the language. It's how do you see yourself? How do you envision yourself in the future? But remember, you have to, and Bruce Rochester says this all the time, you got to borrow from your future. Start to see yourself. When I got into this business, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, you know, I did what everybody else did. You know, I start talking to my wife about it. First thing I did, I didn't get her on the phone, my upline. I thought I can close my wife. My wife said, no go, buddy. <laughs> Don't do it. Right? So now I'm trying to build a business for myself and also to rescue my wife and myself out of this uh, 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 corporate America jobs, right? But the same person I'm trying to rescue didn't see the lion, right? She didn't see the lion. She saw me as her husband, obviously, but she didn't see where I knew we were gonna go. So all I did, guys, with that on my back, not, re not knowing if this was going to work, but I kind of knew it was going to work because Bruce was doing it and he was having massive success. And my other friend Alfred was doing it and having massive success. But I kept going and I kept going. And through that whole process, some people did it, some people didn't. I just kept going. Why? Because I knew I needed to get out of my job. I knew at one point I was going to continue to get promoted to bring me in the money that I needed, right? Not going by chance, right? My job was a chance. You can't get rich off your job. That's like playing a lotto, right? I needed, I needed the dollars, right? I needed the money, right? And 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 and, and I just kept building. And then as the money start coming in, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly but surely, she start to open up. And then once she went to our first training, once she went to our first big event, it opened everything for her. So guys, if you're uh, in, a, in a household with a spouse or a significant other that doesn't see you as a lion, you need to see you first. Key point. See yourself there first. Because we've all tried other businesses and they're like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, here we go again. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> right? Uh, can you guys open that blinds for me, please? Can you guys open those? Kayla, open that blind for me. So basically, you're basically saying, this is the real one. Like, this is going to work. And you're selling yourself to whoever, you know, your significant other is. But you need to sell yourself to you. You're the first person you got to sell about this business, not anybody else. So once you start seeing yourself as a leader, as a senior vice president, as a vice president, as a pillar within FES, everything's going to change. It starts with your mindset. So don't allow the no to affect you. And guys, remember, 
because we all have a farmer's mentality. And those of you who don't know what a farmer's mentality is, let me let me let me give it to you. You're basically planting seeds and moving on. You're not gonna call someone or get them a video or get them on a webinar or get them to an event or expose them to the business and call them every single day and say, All right, are you ready? All right, you're gonna do it? All right, all right. Oh man, he's not gonna do it. Ah. And then it just knocks you out of the box. And then you get excited. And then you tell someone else, right? And then that next person say, I'm going to do it, and then they don't, right? Plant the seed, keep moving. Because let me tell you something. Just as quickly as you can shift your brain and say, man, no one's doing it. I can tell. There are people looking for you. They're looking for you to join. All of us agents, we've gotten customers and agents to enroll, and we didn't even know that they were going to do it. We didn't even know. We just kept going. I get so many no's, I don't even remember who told me no. I don't remember. But I can remember who told me yes. <laughs> right? I don't even remember who told me no. I plant the seed, keep moving. It's never no, it's always not right now. People are going to come back. I have people that came back a year ago. Why? Because they're watching us on social media. Guys, they're watching us. And some people are watching you, and they see you as a kitten, how you used to be. And other people are watching you develop into a lion. You just got to keep going. Because if you quit, they going to sign up. Right? But maybe not, in, definitely not in your organization. Somebody else is going to sign up. Sign them up, rather. Right? So let me go to the next slide because I get excited just hovering over that. All right. So you guys should definitely know about this. So uh, this is one of the things that we all should be aware of. What's going on, guys? We have new social media posts um and you gotta make sure you're using these posts guys it's in your back office so this is the one for the agent side so literally you're just logging into your back office uh go into social media templates and then boom you can download these and then you can start using them on social media i've already started using them i have an ad out with this one and this one um it's doing well so i'm gonna put more money behind these ads um, as well but guys these are images that uh, FES created for us to use I want you guys to make sure you're using them um, after this training you can't say you don't know so you just log into your uh, your back office for an agent and then you find the templates for social media and then you can download them and make sure your team um, is using them as well now here's the one for credit repair uh, you can go into United Credit Education Services and you can see it's a, it's a few more of them I just didn't want to use all the templates. I didn't have enough room uh, But there's a few more of these guys and you can use these just for credit repair customers and again post them out Tag people guys when you're posting on social media. I was connected with a leader um, um, A while ago and um, he was asking me about man. How do you get so many responses? Uh, guys don't forget to tag people you know when you're putting when you're putting a post up tag them and if you say this like, man i don't like to tag people then you're not you don't want to expose your business to people you know what i do when people complain that i tag them i delete them and remove them off my page anybody now i'm, I'm, I'm i have five thousand friends on facebook guys so i mean within since i've been in fes i maybe have had eight people <laughs> over all the hundreds of posts i've done uh, since I've been in uh, in FES, eight people that complain that I tag them, I take them off my page, delete them, delete their comment, and remove them. Right? Very, very, very important. But you definitely want to tag 50 people, tag different people. That way they know that, boom, you know, you're still doing the credit repair business. Right? Thank you. You're still doing the credit repair business. And then as you're building, as you're doing what you're doing, and you're getting new customers and new agents, you tag them too. So when you're announcing your new agents, right? Or when you're announcing point increases, you tag those same people that you know that's watching you. And some people are not watching you. You know what I'm saying? They're not watching you every single day, but they will when they see they get a notification from your tag. So some people, you're waking them up. But the bottom line on this on this slide, guys, make sure you guys are using the correct uh, post images on social media because FES is looking for all of that. All right? So that was an easy one. Um, number three, the cruise contest. Um, tomorrow is day one for the cruise contest, guys. So we got to know specifically, again, like I said at the beginning, you got to know where you are to know where you're going to go. So I, I got to confess something to you guys, right? I, I hope y'all don't laugh at me. 
This is me being vulnerable. <laughs> Y'all ready? I had no idea the rules for the cruise contest. Zero. I knew it was a contest. <laughs> I knew I kept getting customers in in uh, in, uh, in ages, but I didn't even I wasn't even aware it was a contest, right? It was things going on. I knew something was going on, but I did not pay attention to it. I did not know the qualifications. I did not know all the intricacies and things that you needed to know to be able to get on the cruise. But I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. I'm a I'm, I'm gonna get on that cruise. I'm getting on that cruise this time. I now. As soon as they drop this information tomorrow, trust me, the following Saturday, guys, we're going to do another training, and it's going to be specifically about the cruise content. And all of us need to do whatever it takes to get on this cruise. The company's paying for it, oh, I'm going all out. Think about it. They had an incentive if you get a, um, if you basically enroll for um, the, the, um, the convention, you get 25,000 points. Just for enrolling in convention. Think about that. It's all about timing. Now, it's going to go down as the cruise contest start to uh, develop and mature. But, at the beginning. I don't want to hear this shit no more. All right, so you can go. So, so at the end of the day, guys, we got to make sure that we're on point with the actual cruise contest and knowing specifically what we want to do. And then when we have people like that who don't want to hear it anymore, then this is a volunteer army. <laughs> you feel me? They just go. Um, and what's crazy, I think he's directly on my team. I think I specifically enrolled him. But at the end of the day, guys, some people will, some people won't. So what? Next, right? Cruise contest. We all need to know specifically what we need to do to get on this cruise contest, right? And then also, guys, the power of trial runs. Oh, my God. Trial runs are a game changer. Those of us who use trial runs consistently, we know it's just basically free leads. People will always be able to send um, you leads, people that are, are, are already ready to get their credit restored. You just got to know exactly what to say, get them enrolled on the program, and also, or get them on the phone with your mentor so they can explain it on your behalf. But the trial run is just basically free leads. When you're in a situation where you're getting free, consistent leads, that needs to be duplicated within your team. So don't forget, guys, you want to do trial runs consistently, maybe one, maybe two a day, so you can constantly get people sending you names and numbers um, so you can basically sign people up. And now here's the cool thing about the trial run. Let's say, for instance, you talk to someone and they don't have the money. You're going to say, okay, that's fine. What if I told you there's a way I can help you make, you know, a little side money? I'm going to give you something to post on social media, and then you're going to tag 50 people. You give them this image or one of the other images for credit repair, have them tag the people, right? And then they're going to send you the names and numbers. And then all you're going to do is call the people, sign them up on your website, and then you're going to cash app the person who, you know, did the trial run for you. You can cash app them $20, $25. But the most important thing is you got to find out their cash app. You got to know like who to send the money to. Because when you send these people this money, they are open now to becoming an agent. Because now they understand the marketing works, right? And they understand that they're going to get paid. That's the two things. You can have any business you want. If you actually don't get customers, then you don't have a business, right? Lastly, the power of three-way calls, guys. Building rapport is, is key. You know, I've been on the phone with a person and I thought I was on the phone with them for 20 minutes and I've been on the phone with them for an hour, 30 minutes. Why? Because I'm building rapport, getting to know them, understanding what their hot button is, understanding their why, understanding their background. What do they see? What do they know? Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Ken, um, Ken Bay Bryan, we just got on the phone, well, probably an hour ago, uh, 20 minutes before the, the training actually started. You know, he got me on the phone with a good friend of his who, who who has a lot of sales background. And the guy was only on the phone with me because of Ken, right? That's credibility. He's already built rapport with him. Ken hired him to do some marketing, and they were selling door-to-door, -door, right? So I didn't have to go into all the fluff about the business. He's a seller. He understands uh, it's a numbers game. He understands he, he doesn't get affected by no. He just keeps going. And when you have somebody like that to look at this business, it makes it very, very easy. But it started off with the three-way call. 
Three-way calls are powerful. If you're not doing three-way calls with your upline and your team, you're hurting your business. You want to do as many three-way calls as possible. And if you can't execute those three-way calls, you know, have somebody within your team help you. All right. So that's basically it, guys. I wanted to make this this, this training at least 20 minutes short, straight to the point. Um, but I want to open up for some questions. Um, if you guys have any questions, unmute your line, and then I'll be able to answer any questions you have. But let me go here real quick to the chat. See if I have any questions. Yeah, that is why people are um broke. <laughs> they so mad. I actually don't think he's broke. He has a he's he does very well for himself. It may be a, a ego thing. Um our individual brand website out of compliance. Um is our individual website now out of compliance? You're gonna have to call corporate. I don't know. My individual website, I don't have one. It says coachcav.com and I redirect him to FES. So so I can stay in compliance. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see you on that cruise too, Robin. Anybody have any questions before I close this out? Hey Kev, I have a question. What's up, superstar? How are you? I'm doing great, great, great. Hey, this is Britt. I have a question about uh, convention tickets. I know they usually put that up around the same time as the cruise contest. So do, do you have any information as to when the actual ticket for the convention uh, will go out? No, I don't, but I do know tomorrow they're going to drop all the information about the cruise contest, and I'm sure uh, they're going to mention something about the convention as well, because I went on the convention website. Uh, one of my agents, LeBron, was telling me the other day that he's, you know, he want to go to convention, and um, I went to the website. It's still from, you know, this, this February's information, so I'm sure tomorrow, uh, if not this next upcoming week or this upcoming uh, month, they're going to be dropping all the information because like somebody just said, 25K at SD by September. So some people are going to want to get um, the ticket, but the tickets have to be available. So let's see what happens tomorrow. If not, then I'm sure by the end of this week, something should be up uh, about the convention because you already know we're going. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've been talking to LeBron, so he's not very far from me. I'm going to look forward to um, getting down there in Louisiana. What? What? <laughs> oh man, listen, Bridget. Oh my God, hey, Bridget, LeBron, man, I need y'all to, hey, LeBron, Bridget is, man, you heard me take. That's who I was talking about at the beginning. She's she, yeah, she, she's a leader. Like she don't take no nothing. Like she's on it. So with you two together and, 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 and Bridget. LeBron has a mindset. You can tell him anything. He's not going to break. He ain't going to feel sorry. He ain't going to feel bad. He's going to take the information, be coachable, and keep moving. So, um, I'm looking for people that's ready to get it. I don't care whose team they on. Let's just get it. And, and you know, at the end of the day, uh, Bridget, I really, really appreciate it. I had no idea. I think he did tell me y'all was connected. But I, I like the fact that um, you guys are going to be able to leverage each other because that's critical. Because your story may build up some of the women that he know and then his story may build up some of the men that you know and vice versa but the fact that you guys are leveraging each other is just is just amazing so wow but any other questions Britt? no that's it all right perfect perfect all right all right any other questions from anybody oh lebron you had something that you you were gonna say something Nah, I just want to give it back to you, Coach. Like, it's training, and also, I love what we do every Saturday morning. Like, we need to keep this up going as long as possible. I'm trying to build something big here in Louisiana, so I'm just looking forward to working with whoever, you know? Listen, man, I, I, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to continue to do these Saturday training. I'm going to be moving the days. I may be moving the days around in the future because I have a few things. Uh, I have a, 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 a contract uh, booked out for the for the entire year, um, well, for the, at least for the next nine months um, on Saturday. So we'll be moving the training possibly, I don't know what day yet, but I'm going to find a specific day. And everybody who can't make it, obviously, we're going to record it and then get it to everybody. But we will be doing weekly um, trainings consistently. That way, everybody's in the loop and uh, we can get all the angry people out of the group. <laughs> yeah, because I definitely look forward to your trainings on Saturday morning. So I definitely want to thank you for setting aside time on your Saturday morning when you could be doing anything else. 
But you know, just like I said, just like we all say, just like Bruce say, if not FBS, then, then what? what? If not now, then when? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Um, um, the um, young yes, sir. Uh, uh, can I say you say something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian, how far are you from uh, New Orleans? I have a, a great, I have a great uh, uh, agent out there, man. She is so live. She's a people's person. Her name is Marquia. She's on the webinar right now, and she's in New Orleans, and we don't have no. So how far are you from New Orleans? I'm just trying yeah, to get about, in there. We're about four hours away. Oh, okay, okay. We just yeah. we're trying to really build, build that Louisiana market. Right, man. you know, right, trying to right, really right. build it, man. And she she loves helping people, man. She she's a great. It's a lot of people out here who need help. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You know, Louisiana is the third uh, the third worst state with credit in the United States. So we you know we're really trying to build some great leaders out there. So uh, I'm just glad you're out there. I'm glad you know Bridget is because I know Bridget in Arkansas. I know she's close to she she got that that area down, and y'all know that's all. So uh, I just uh, you know she's in New Orleans area. And she, you know, she's very, she's very familiar with Baton Rouge also. So, you know, we're just trying to build okay. out Okay. I go to work out there in uh, Baton Rouge sometimes. So, if I'm ever out there or uh, whatever, uh, what's her name? Her name is Marquia. Marquia? Marquia? Marquia. Yeah, Marquia. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, um, do all that in the messenger and then send the information so we can lock that in, guys. Um, all right, so this young lady said, where do I find the credit repair templates again? All right, so the credit repair templates, they are on the United Credit Education side. That's where you're going to find those templates. This young lady, I don't know your, uh, T Tanise. So that's where you're going to find that. Um, and then uh, Marquis, uh, uh, Allen, just can get connected with LeBron so you guys can kind of get that whole thing moving, exchange numbers. You guys can do that all through the group and then knock that out. Um, like Hello, it. Can I say something? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, King and Queens. I just want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for your prayers. My FBS family it really meant a lot to me. My Freedom Fighters, you guys were awesome. Brad is doing really good today. Um, the doctors have said it's looking better than it has been looking in the last couple of days. So I just really wanted to say thank you. Teamwork means so much. You guys need to do anything with just soliciting prayers. And putting that inside the Freedom Fighters really meant a lot to me. So I just really want to say thank you. Happy Saturday to everybody and be blessed. Well, you're very, very welcome, sis. You know, uh, we we just gotta and you you told me this yesterday too man we just you know it's in god's hand we gotta let him do what he do and we just all do our best and just do the rest man so you know yeah. there should be no reason why uh out of a 24-hour day we all can't take time to pray um to send your family strength send them energy and just 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 love and 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 and, and basically um be there you know because that 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 goes a long way man i have personal i have family members that you know how i go but anyway family's one thing but you know when you have your fes family who genuinely care you know that's a whole nother ball game so we just appreciate you uh and, and we're living through you because look you're strong you're pushing through some people allow certain things to knock them completely out of the box like completely out so you know we want you to keep going um definitely reach out to me you need anything let's knock out these three-way calls but at the same time your family we know comes first and just just keep us in the loop man just keep us in the loop okay and i just want to encourage everyone like coach said it's, it's miracle like guys if your business is moving slow and the cold is all the time you don't know what you're feeling because i'm telling you when you do things in order when you pray and ask God to enlarge your territory, enlarge your business, bless your business, overflow, over, it will start happening. The Lord won't mean anything. It will go over your head. You will continue to stay focused and will remain focused because guess what? That's what it takes. Hey. You heard it from the queen. <laughs> I don't gotta, I don't gotta add anything onto that. And that's that's kind of how it go, man. We just gotta make sure we're we're following it. Yes, Alan, Alan, Tammy is definitely a great leader, and so are you, uh, Alan, man. I just want to thank you, man. Uh, you know, I want to thank you, man, just for you always stepping outside the comfort zone. Uh, your look, your your goal right now is to help Marquia. You know. 
to, to build that territory, man. So I appreciate you. Alan, can you do me a huge favor and kind of, um, you kill them on the customers. Can you kind of just drop some jewels um, on just different people within the group, letting them know different things that you're doing to get so many customers? You still with us, Alan? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm with you, man, bro. I'm with you. So let everybody, go ahead. Okay, uh, first and foremost, when you get on the phone with a person, person that's how that's here to try to get their credit fixed for really two reasons, but I give them a third reason just to let them start talking. They're trying to get a car, a house, or start a business. You got to know uh, about interest rate. I make a person think, listen, when you're getting a car, I mean, when you're buying a house, a lot of people say they want to get a house. I ask them, do you know the difference between a 6% interest rate and a 4% closing on that on a 30-year mortgage? Nine times out of 10, they don't know. That's 200000 in interest on a 30-year mortgage. Okay? So I let them know when you're buying a house, you got to think about five things. You got to think about interest, mortgage, property taxes, homeowners insurance, and repairs. When they think about those things, I listen, I say, if you pay that house off, you been on bought the bank a house and you bought yourself a house. Just because you didn't take the time to fix your credit. So give me 90 days and we'll give the bank a 200000 Okay, now when you're talking about a car, you got to, um, I let them know the, uh, the repossession rate. And the reason why the repossession rate is because the bank knows emergency is going to happen every three to six months. So nine times out of ten, you're going to miss a you're going to miss a payment, you're going to miss a, a payment because something happened in your life and you were forced to do it. And when that happened, they're going to put that on your credit and if it happened two, three times, now they're going to come get that card. Now you have repossession and the car dealers know they're going to be the guy that maybe get that $10 from you. Well, I mean, get that $8 from you throughout a year, then they're going to resell the market, then they're going to resell the car, put it right back on their, their, their lot. So it's a, it's a hustle. Because they know when this person, they, they know selling you the car that, listen, you know, on the 36 month, this person's not going to pay on time for 36 straight months. They know that. And they know you're going to miss two payments. And they're lucky they're going to come get the car. And you're going to uh, ha have an involuntary, you know, uh, repossession. And you're going to have a, a repossession on you. And that same car that you uh, have for about, you know, eight to ten months, they got that money out of you. And they're going to resell the car. So you have to think about all these things when it comes to buying cars. And uh, another thing is track your calls. Listen, I hope everybody's listening. Track your calls. Put notes by them. Bruce told me this months ago. When I, and before I was tracking my calls, then I said, Alfred just said it. The last, uh, Alfred did it in the line. So go watch it. Alfred said, track your calls. Put notes by them. Whatever notes you put by them, put notes by them. I, I, I write it in black and I put the notes in red. I put notes by and I follow them up by. Listen, I get a lot, Kevin said, we get a lot of notes. We get a lot of notes. But with the notes, I leave hope for the future with each car. Even when they ain't not ready right now, I say, okay, that's no problem. Uh, you, you, you ready next month? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people, like Kevin, I was talking to people are going to choose the least resistant path. But listen, at the, at the point, when I follow up them next month, at least they won't be so defensive. They'll know who I am. They'll know they told me to call. So eventually, after I thought follow them up, keep doing that, they're gonna sign up. So, you know, we all go through rough patches, but a lot of times when I talk to people, they're not checking their calls. And how many calls are you making per day? Between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., you gotta at least make 10 calls. Not saying you gotta talk to 10 people, but you gotta at least make 10 calls. And the people that you don't speak to, send them a text. You have to, because that's when people getting off work. You gotta make these 10 calls. If you're not, don't give excuses. Don't complain about results then. Do not complain about results if you're not doing that. Okay? Do not complain because you're not, you're not, that, that's the You have to do that. Yeah, between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., you have to make at least 10 calls. So if I go through your call log, if you want to show, show me dates, and I'm gonna see 10 plus calls for five straight days. If I can see that, I'm gonna see some results. There's no way. But that's it, Kale. That's all I got. Wow. You see? <laughs> Y'all see why he's a successful personal trainer? Alan has the ability to bring the best out of people. And he takes no BS. 
None. Zero. 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 Why? Because he's with people who come up with a New Year's resolution on January, but by January 3rd, they stop working out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he says something so, so, so critical. If you are not doing the activities to help you get results, then you can't complain. Right? And that's what I love about this business, man. Uh, like I, I messaged the guy who said he, he didn't know his mic was on. This is a volunteer army, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's not going to hurt me, you know, w w when it comes to someone not doing what they have to do. We do these trainings. I'm doing these trainings. You guys are investing your time to be in these trainings. We could be doing whatever. But, you know, we're all investing into each other. I just set up the slides. It's a lot of things I got to do behind the scenes and record and add it to YouTube and all this other stuff. But every one of you guys are leaders. You're going to have your own team. Your team's looking out for you. Like, I know FES work. You know FES work. Here's a cool thing, guys, and I'm going to close with this. Like, what's your why? Don't forget about your why. Right? Don't re don't never 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 forget because there's a lot of us having a lot of success. You know, a lot of us are getting people, um, signing people up for credit repair, getting people uh, uh, promoted, helping a lot of people uh, come onto the system as agents, and we're having a lot of success. You know, and you can too. All you have to do is can is be consistently consistent. Don't allow the nose to hurt you. Right? What is your why? When I first got in this business, besides, you know, I had to prove to my wife, I had to prove to myself that this was going to work for me because I knew FES work. I just didn't know what I was going to bring to the table and what was my intensity level going to be like. What's your intensity level? How can you go harder? Think about why you joined this business at the beginning. People forget that. The reasons why I joined this business, I just wanted to spend more time with my kids. Check. That's done. The other reason why I wanted to do this business, I need to get my credit fixed. Check. That's done. The reason why I joined this business, I wanted to quit my job. Check. That been done. Right? There's two other things that I got to accomplish while I'm in this business. Right? The second thing is, I got the, the, the fourth thing rather, I got to get my wife out of her job. We getting that done next year. I ain't checking it off yet. Right? And then the last thing that I'm going to do within this business before I hang my, uh, you know, my FES pin up, I'm going pinnacle. Now, some of you are listening to me and it's like, damn, that boy said he's going pinnacle. You could too. But the difference between me and most people, I believe I'm going pinnacle. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I'm not stopping. <laughs> like, like, literally, I'm not stopping. And I know you're not either. So we got to remember our wives. We got to remember why we started this business. We can't let we can't let anyone throw us off. Don't let your broke friends get in the way. Don't let your spouse get in the way. Don't let your 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 your, your person the person who has money that's around you get away get, get in the way, right? Don't let TV get in the way. Don't let the playoffs get in your way. Don't let excuses get in your way. You don't get in your way. Do whatever you gotta do to build this business. Because I'm telling you something, it's going to be worth it. You think all of us are excited for no reason? Like we really are living heaven on earth. And I'm not even a vice president yet. I'm not even a regional vice president yet. But when I was an agent, before I even had one agent, before I even got my stride for five, you know what I saw? You know what I saw? This. This is what I saw. And you got to see that too. You got to see that too. And as we're closing out, guys, and Bridget hit it earlier, if not FES, then what? You'd be shocked at how many people I've seen that have signed up with FES a while ago. They see everybody around them winning, and then they sign up again. The acronym for FOCUS is follow one course until successful push right push until something happens that's the goal we got to keep going and guys this is a business i'm i'm never going back to a job and those of you who work your job all you got to do 
Work your job. Soon as you get out of work, forget about football. Forget about basketball. Forget about hanging out. Forget about all of that. Build your business. That's all I used to do. Get on social media. Get people on the phone with Bruce. Do three-way calls. Get on the trainings. Go to the events. I was doing the same thing over and over and over again. I told my wife, I'm here, but I'm not here. I'm here, but I'm not here. Because I knew what was going to happen. 90 days later, I quit my job. And guess what happened when I quit my job? Some of the haters said, oh, he'll be back in 30 days. It's been over a year. I'm never going back. <laughs> I'm never going back. My wife and I went to a wedding uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was like a reunion. Some of the people at my old job was at the wedding. Guess who they looking at? Me. They, one of the guys went to my wife and was like, is he really making money? How you gonna, how you gonna, how you gonna ask my wife that? <laughs> like, how you gonna disrespect us like that? You think I'm gonna quit my job and be on welfare just, just to do it? No. We grinding. Like, this is really happening. By this time next year, our goal is to have a thousand credit repair franchises. What's your goal? And it doesn't matter what it looks like right now. It doesn't matter if you have an agent, two agent, three agent, five agent. It doesn't matter if you have a, a, a powerful team and they go all going SD or you have two people holding on for dear life. Keep going. Keep going. Because what God has for you, no man or woman can stop, man. Let me look at this, these questions and then I'm going. All right, let's see. Uh, thank you. I see it. You're welcome. Stick and stay. You earn that pay. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm ready. I'm fired up, boss. I'll be quitting my job. So, oh, here's a, here's a key point. Uh, uh, what's that, Trenda? So, here's a tip about your job. This is the only thing I wish I would have did differently, but, bro, I had to leave. <laughs> you ever, you ever like the people you working with, but you hate the boss? <laughs> so, that was me. But, if, if I had to give you a tip before you quit your job, what was a beautiful thing, here's a visual, multiple streams. So I was making money, obviously from my job, and then when my checks was dropping, every two weeks, I was also getting paid from FES, right? So that's technically two streams of, I know we get paid eight ways in FES, but I'm just thinking check-wise. So. I was getting a check from FES, right? And then I was getting a check from my job. So what I would do, if I would give you a recommendation before you quit your job, either use the FES checks or your job check. One of those checks, use the money to pay off all of your bills and then just keep stacking. When you have a reserve, 10,000, maybe 20,000, whatever amount you wanna, you wanna do, then you're gonna use, you're gonna have that as like a piggy bank or side money anytime you need so now you want to invest into your business you want to do uh ads you want to do instagram ads you want to you know invest into anything flyers or whatever the case may be but the bottom line is work both businesses i mean do your job and work your business keep stacking your money pay all your credit cards off right then you um quit your job now if you're in a situation like me when you're like bro i gotta go then do what you gotta do but just make sure you have a reserve ready for you before you, you exit. Because you know them haters going to be there. And when you exit, girl, you better show out. <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. I see it. I see it too. Praise God. All day, Crystal. Um, uh, all right. Remember, enemy doesn't want you to, to succeed. Step on his neck and continue to work FES. Bottom line. Look at Tammy. Boss. She'll get you. Where I have to put my email last digit of my so she said, Is it that where I have to put Yes? Yes, Wilbert. So that's the platform when you have to put your email in the last four of your social. That's the um the protection plan, United Credit Education Services. So you log into there and you'll be able to see the actual um the templates. Yeah, you do. You you have a you have a phenomenal uh, mindset, Tammy. That's why I got you in my in my um in my phone as superstar <laughs> for sure. So, all right, guys, um, is there any other questions? Unmute your line. Any other questions before I close out the training? All right, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys tremendously, man. Just for taking the time. I'm gonna load this up on um um. 
let me kind of get up. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time, man. I'm gonna load this up on um, on YouTube and then I'll drop it inside the group. What's up, Adani? What's going on, Miss Sears? What's up, Miss Sears? Will, what's going on, brother? Looking like a million dollars, boy. What's up, Adani? Uh, so what's, up? what's going on, my brother? Oh man, everything's going on, man. Everything, everything. What's up, Gina? Ken? Steering, look at Steering. That boy, buddy, don't play. Hey, buddy, I respect your grind, man. Hey, 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 hey. I be thinking, buddy, I be thinking, buddy, go. Buddy be grinding. You a truck driver, right, buddy? Yeah, he a truck driver. See, he don't make no excuses. And what's so crazy, I'm talking to Buddy. Buddy got connected, got in the business through Mr. LeBron Babers, got in Buddy, which is Steering Clark. And then he connected us with um, Pinky, and this lady's from another planet. You talking about? She talks to everybody, you know. And you know that should empower Buddy. He's never gonna quit. If he quit, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I'll be shocked if he quit, right? Why? Because you got a superstar. That's like you on the team with LeBron, and then you just like, nah, I'm gonna quit. Okay, you you stay right there. So I love, man. I love. Uh, listen, Buddy, man. I appreciate you, man. Your tenacity. You trying to do everything that you can do. Um, let's set up more three-way calls and do what we got to do. All these truck stops that you go to, you better get them damn numbers. All right. Just don't talk to none of them strippers, man. They they go they gonna try to get you. <laughs> don't let them do it. <laughs> it's like you going this way. No. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else. Anybody else, man, want to share anything, man? Before I close it out, Crystal, what's up, Crystal? You all right? I'm here for you, hey, sis. Hey, Coach, hey, Coach let me just share something right quick. You What's up, brother? Donnie, Make it short, man. You, I'm still waiting on that. I'm still waiting on that list for you, man. You, 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 you ain't seen me that list. Anyway, <laughs> we gonna talk, bro. Hey, hey, guys. I just want, I just want to tell you guys something. Uh, something that I'm actually going through. Uh, I've been working with a uh, with a person for the last two weeks. Uh, trying to build a uh, Tallahassee. Uh, Another another part of Tallahassee. So the person I actually work with them, trial run them for a whole week. She started giving me numbers, started giving me numbers, started giving me numbers. I'm closing, I'm closing them. She came back yesterday and she was saying, "Oh, um, like she she's staying off this now. Like, oh no, nah, I'm good. Uh, I'm not interested. I'm not this. I'm not that. Oh, I don't want to do it no more." What's so crazy about it is I did the work as like she was going to be in my organization and I did the trial run. So now all of those leads are mine. So I'm to, and I got to do another trial run from one of her leads today. So now it just converted to my, to me and my money. So I just want to tell you guys, even if the person who you actually, you know, talking to who wants to, oh, sign up and then they back out, you still got the leads. You can still convert that and you can still turn that into uh, agents because, or people who need service. So I'm just leveraging that. Don't make it a bad thing. And see. Adani, thank you for dropping that, man. And that's 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 powerful. See, that right there, that's a mindset, right? That's like you're looking at, we always hear this, this phrase, you know, take lemon and make lemonade. That's all Adani did. That's all he did. He just made lemonade. He didn't cry that he had lemons. He like, well, shoot, I can make lemonade. Why not? So all he did was put someone on a trial run, got the leads. They went MIA. He kept the leads for himself, and then within those leads, he's gonna put some more people on the trial run. He's and, never. And so, and so crazy about it is, I went back to her and said, "Look, um, yeah, Friday he's signing up. Yeah, I'm gonna need you sign up before Thursday so you can actually get paid and you guys become an agent." And she backed out. You know what I mean? Like, you know. That's good. The attitude I have, the type of attitude I have, a character I have that you guys are starting to notice, you start, you know, you get to know me. Um. The, the word no doesn't bother me. People, so what? Who cares? Some people gonna do it. Some people not gonna do it. All you gotta do is keep pushing, keep focusing. Just like, like my mentor right here, Coach Kev, Rock, Bruce Rochester, Fire. These guys in the next five years, I give them three. They'll be millionaires. They'll be on billboards. They'll. they'll I do. Now, I have leads. We gave to 
Well, listen. It's the kind of team we got. So, like, like I said, man, if it's break. You break it up, with Donnie. Go ahead, bro. No, no, no. You break it up. You, you, you yeah. You, you, you're going in and out. But, uh, but you know, the first thing I heard you say, um, I claim that I received that in the name of Jesus. Because at the end of the day, man, like that's what it's about. It's about us all seeing each other getting to that pinnacle level, so we're all going up together to bring other people in. Remember, guys, majority of people that we're connecting to, including family, they have an employee mindset. They don't see the vision. Stop trying to make them see your vision. That right there will drive you crazy. You crazy. I ain't, I'm not trying to make anybody in my family or any close friend see the vision that God has for me. I can't do it. Everybody on their own thing. But let me tell you something. When you continue to live into your vision and live into your purpose, when that bread come in, guess what they going to say? Damn, well, I knew you was going to do it, dog. I knew you was going to make it, man. Hey, let me hold $500. <laughs> let me hold $1,000. You know what I'm saying? I know you got it. What's that? What you told me about that? R&R &R Club? I know you got that, buddy. But at the end of the day, guy, that's when we got to make a decision. Are we going to teach them how to fish? Right? I stopped giving certain family. You know, my mama pimp. But I stopped, I stopped giving certain family member money because they're not willing to learn how to fish they're not willing to learn how to fish jesus said i want to make you fishers of men <laughs> they don't even want to learn how to do it so when they ask me for money i say bro i can't do it because all you're going to do is waste my money you can't even see you can't see you can't even see the presentation you can't get on a webinar and you my family come on bro don't ask me for no money don't ask me for no money go beg the person who you support go ask them for the money don't do me like that. And don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Just do what you got to do. Because, guys, I'm telling you, this business is worth it. It's worth it. So we all got to continue to build, man. Um, let's keep grinding. Remember, lastly, guys, everybody's at their own pace. Don't look at how fast somebody's doing it. And it's going to throw you off and make you feel like, oh, I'm not good. I'm not. No. Some people don't have kids. When I first got in this business, I'm like, well, how the hell did they get promoted that quick? Then I find out they ain't got no kids, they ain't got no girl, they ain't got no responsibilities. These boys can stay up all night. I got a wife and children. So guys, don't compare your lane to somebody else's lane. Stay in your lane, focus. Somebody said in the chat, stick and stay, you earn your pay, and keep grinding. It is going to happen. 100% of the people that quit, fail. I'm going to say that again. 100% of the people that quit, they fail. They fail because they're already they're done. If you continue to go, you continue to plug into these trainings, you continue to have a positive mindset. And like a Donnie, you, it don't even affect you. The no's don't even affect you. It's going to get to the point you won't even remember who told you no. So, guys, I appreciate y'all. Give me a call if anything will. Keep killing it, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Robin, keep killing it. LaBavis, keep doing what you're doing. Gina, I see you. Let's do it. Crystal, let's get this money, girl. I'm here. I'm here for you. So you call me anytime. Miss Sears, keep doing what you're doing. Tammy, keep grinding. Guys, we got to keep going. My wife, Michelle, keep grinding, babe. I need you to keep going. We got to get you promoted, girl. <laughs> hey, hey, fellas, you want to hear a secret? If you help your girl make a whole bunch of money, they won't ask for yours. And I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm gone. Have a good day, guys. All right, bro. Yeah. All right.